Hello everyone, it's Monklazonki. So at the moment I'm just slaying some Griffola Roos because that happens to me at my Slayer task and I also just got an effigy, uh, which I actually got on video, I captured it on video where I actually got the effigy. However, I messed up since it is late, I am tired, I have a slight speech impediment that I have mostly gotten over but it's not completely gone and it still arises sometimes when I get tired. And that happened to be the case, and it completely messed up my first recording, so I decided to delete that and start anew. But anyway, I'm just going to finish opening up this effigy uh, as quickly as possible. I want some Herblore experience there instead of Hunter. Uh, usually when I open up effigies, I always open them up on the more expensive skill to train, just because... Um, even though those skills are faster, if I ever do decide to AFK towards a 200 mil in a skill, it wouldn't be towards a skill that costs a lot of money, just because I don't have a lot of money personally. You know, I'm a fairly well off player, but nowhere near being able to afford like 200 mil XP in a viable skill. That's just crazy expensive. But regardless, I'm going to continue with my Slayer task and talk a little bit about some stoofs. So, um,. What the original vlog was supposed to be about before I completely screwed it up by stuttering and stammering because I did not get very much sleep last night and I was on my feet making sandwiches all day, which was just a blast, as I'm sure you all know. Um, what I originally made the first vlog about is kind of talking about integrity and also how you can't really trust people over the internet. So we're going to try that again. We're going to try this vlog again and see how it goes. So I talked a little bit about myself and how even though I try my best to really interact with subscribers, and I think I'm, I've am i done a fairly good job about that. Um, for example, if you ever come into my friend's chat and ask ask like me what's going on, um, if I'm not AFK, if I'm not staring blankly into space because I'm so tired I can barely keep my eyes open, then I will answer you. Also, if you inbox me on YouTube and don't just ask me for money or something really stupid like that, guys, I've had a few messages on YouTube that were pretty much just, can I have some money, please? If it's not something like that, I will respond to you as well. So, I also re try to respond to most of my comments. Um, most of them, I don't really respond to the ones that just said, thank you for making this video, because the answer is going to be the same every time, and it's just... It gets a little old when I have to say thanks to like 50 comments on a guide that I made. But anyway, we're not going to go over that too much. Basically, if you really do want to get in contact with me, um, it's actually a very, very possible thing to do, and it's not too difficult, which I think is a good thing because I've made myself fairly accessible um, to talk to, even though I guess you could consider nearly 4,500 subscribers a fair amount. I don't, considering there's people on YouTube with like millions of subscribers, I don't think 4,500 is a lot, but um, some people seem to think that's a fair amount, and they seem to think like I have some sort of status in this game, which isn't the case, I'm just a fairly normal young adult male who makes sandwiches for a living and decides to play RuneScape in his spare time and upload videos about it. I don't personally think I'm anything special. A few people think I do just because I've made videos for the last two and a half years, and just recently I have been getting a fair amount of views on them. But anyway, I'll stop rambling on about that. Um, basically what I wanted to talk about for the most part is give you guys a message that you really can't trust people that you don't know. Now that might be a little odd to take in because when you watch someone for a long time when they make videos and you really enjoy them, uh, you enjoy all the content that they make, you really like listening to what they have to say, and you feel like you can relate to it. After a while, after you've watched a ton of their videos, it's almost like you feel like you know them, even though you don't. Um, even if you talk to someone a million times on the internet, you still have never met face to face, and it, you're going to have a real hard time judging this person's actual integrity when you've never actually met them. Because when people are on the internet, they're generally not the same as they are in real life. Of course, unless someone is a complete tool on the internet, then it's probably a pretty good guess that that's also how they act in real life, but that's besides the point. So anyway, I wanted to just say I could be the nicest guy in the world. I try to be. I definitely don't succeed, but I, I consider myself a fairly nice person. 
but I still wouldn't recommend trust trading a party hat to me. Even if you've watched every single video I've ever uploaded and liked them all and been in my friend's chat and talked to me for a year without any a single day off, um, I still wouldn't recommend trusting me in-game with your, your possessions or anything like that. They just wouldn't be a good idea because even though uh, you feel like you have a connection to me, um, you, you still don't know me in real life. I could be a... 35 year old smelly hobo with a really young sounding voice who decides to lie about himself a lot on the internet. I'm just saying it is a possibility. So with that being said, um, often people get really trusting and almost forgiving of some of their favorite YouTubers and then they turn out not to be the nicest people. Um, we've seen this a couple times uh, with YouTubers not just in the RuneScape area. If you've been keeping up on it yourself. A lot of people that make videos aren't in it because it's their passion. They're more in it because they're making a lot of money for doing so. I myself actually am making a little bit of money for doing so. Not very much, but a little bit of money for, I guess you could call it effort. I consider it more of a leisure relaxation activity of commentating while recording your own screen. And unfortunately I don't own a very nice computer so it's not always the best thing to look at since I have to play in really low graphics and everything but we can still consider it a leisure activity for both me and the viewers and thankfully YouTube is successful enough to pay the people who do this I guess a decent amount you know it's definitely more than I would pay anyone for making videos because I don't consider it that much of an effort to do so but Regardless, it's nice um, being able to make videos and make money off of it. The problem really becomes when someone gets successful, begins earning quite a bit of money off of making videos, and then decides instead of doing it for fun, instead to prioritize the money making aspect of videos. That's where it really becomes a problem. Since I've been doing this for two and a half years, I know some of the tricks of the trade. I know videos, um, certain genres of videos are going to garner a lot more views and likes and subscribers than others are. I know certain titles that are going to get a lot more views, going to attract a lot more views than others are, like titles on the videos. I know certain tags that you can put on videos that are going to work a lot better than others are. I know certain ways to design your thumbnail for your video that's going to be a lot more attractive than others are. That's just kind of how it is once you've been doing it for a while and um, you become familiar with the tools of your trade. But anyway, um, I don't want to go too much into this because I know touching any kind of drama, um, whether that be RuneScape related, is a terrible idea, but lately there was a RuneScape YouTuber who I guess had his integrity fractured a bit off of a video uploaded about him. I'm not going to talk about that personally because, you know, um, I learned from high school it's never a good idea to go into any kind of drama and you definitely don't want to make enemies with anyone especially when they're a lot bigger and more powerful than you. You don't want to be um, the lower end of the food chain if you will. But I guess my main message for this video without revealing too much about how I feel about other YouTubers and how they decide to have their maturity be um, shown to others and what they decide their integrity to be and how they decide to treat their subscribers. I just wanted to say the what you want to take away from this video if you watch the whole thing is really try to not trust other people on the internet no matter how many videos you've watched of them. Don't trust me. I'm not even saying you can trust me. It's alright. I'm saying don't trust anyone on the internet unless you actually know them in real life and really know what they're like. That's just never a good idea. And it's also a real shame that when people start getting successful and start actually making quite a bit of financial gain off of what they do, it really tends to corrupt them and they decide to prioritize the financial gain over doing what they used to really love doing. But I guess that's just the way that w the world works and the way that human nature is and we can't really tear that out of people. So far, I'm trying my best to not getting to not get lulled into that trap myself even though I'm starting to make money off of YouTube I'm still not prioritizing making money off of YouTube as you can tell from me making a 10 minute video about a vlog about stuff that probably most people don't really care about and will not get very many views but that's okay this is videos to get my message across not to make money 
But anyway, if you want to talk to me in game, you can do that. Um, I'm actually very open to talking to subscribers, anyone who wants to. My friend's chat is just Monkle Zonky. If I'm in there, I'll be online. So, or if I'm online, I'll be in there. A little bit of dyslexia, but that's about all for this video. I need to get to bed before I die. So, farewell.